Phil Plastic's been in existence 21 years and although we're a family run company we do have national coverage. We hold a core product line of four sizes of baskets. All the baskets are subdividable so you can make the compartments whichever size you want. The biggest ones are designed to fit in with pallet racking if people want to use bulk storage above the baskets and then a picking face lower down for the baskets. Uh, and then we do some smaller baskets which are ideal for smaller accessories, gloves, that sort of equipment. A lot of clothing comes in cellophane wraps and tends to slip off, fall about, or you put it in cardboard boxes and you can't see what's in there and it's difficult to pick, etc. Uh, the beauty of the baskets is you can see your stock, you can stop them sliding about because they're secured to the either side and to the front, there's a ridge on them, so they make a far better job of storing things like that than shelving does. We are very limited in floor space um, and we're also limited in the vertical space that we've got and using the, the baskets that we've got we can use all of the vertical room as well as the horizontal room that we've got. 50% of the stock that they're picking is above waist height um, as opposed to like I said when we were working on cardboard boxes on pallets virtually everything was below waist height. That helps them physically and it also helps us in a productivity wise as well. You can imagine what it, it looks like if you're picking out a cardboard boxes. Um, you've got cardboard and you've got garments all over the floor because they're, they're just not designed for that. So with the lips that we've got on the baskets that we've got, it controls the garments, stops them from falling out. In regards to the anti-snagging, it keeps the garments in pristine condition when you're pulling the stock out of the baskets because you know you're not going to damage them as you're pulling them out. And the operator knows that they're not going to damage their arms as well when they're putting their arms into the baskets, especially with the ones that are a little bit above shoulder height um, where it's unavoidable that you're going to have contact with the basket. To move them around, you know, if you've got seasonal stock, that sort of thing, you can soon, well, you can either have them on wheels or they can be even full of stock like these, two people can probably lift them quite easily. Uh, the divider system enables you to make a compartment exactly to suit your product. Um, the, the plastic coating protects your, your garments, so there's no snagging, there's no rough edges at all on that. We do do different colours, so if people want to colour code for different types of product, different seasons, whatever, you can do that. Once the stock is in, it's extremely low maintenance and we very rarely need to contact them. Um, but every time we do need to expand, which we have done three times I think in the last 18 months, they've been there for us um, and they've delivered whenever they said they were going to deliver. We've got baskets in use that people have had for 25 years. They last a very long time. We hold thousands of baskets in stock, so if people have got an emergency, we can generally help them out straight away. Nobody holds the stocks that we do, nobody does the plastic coated ones and nobody has a design where they actually fit inside each other so that brings the price down for transporting. When we deliver we can get 40 baskets on one pallet, there's no fresh air being shipped around. Anybody who's got a warehouse like this can use these baskets and hopefully we want to get the word out and let people see how, how brilliant they are as opposed to conventional racking and shelving.